Alrighty, what is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of KJ Fishing. A quick disclaimer, I was editing this video and I totally forgot to film an intro and an outro out on the ice. So both intro and outro are gonna be filmed right here in my room where I edit my videos. So in today's video, our mission is big chunky pike. And uh, this time of the year is known for chasing these big pike in shallow water with big baits. Some of you guys might know it as March Madness. Some of you guys might know it just as late ice pike. Whatever you guys call it, um, that's what we're doing today is that is the mission for today is to try to catch some monster pike for you guys. And guys, this is just the beginning too. So this video is just the beginning. Um, I'm hoping I can get a couple more videos out this ice fishing season, especially for these big pike because man, they are turning on like crazy. So I don't want to talk too much. Um, let's get right into the video and I hope you guys enjoy. those fins freezing on the fish so this should help us with that. So just wanted to bump over here really quick with the fish because it is cold outside. If you guys have a metal board, make sure to wet it before you measure them. So we're gonna dip that in. As you can tell, he's just all, all charged up here. Get a quick measure on him. Close that mouth. He's going 39 and a half. Show you guys a quick look at him. That is a beauty, beauty pike. He's a little bit scarred up on this side. But not wanting to keep them out for too, too long. Alrighty guys, going for the release on this 39 and a half inch pike. Absolute beauty. First fish of the day. Wow. Kept him in that live well the whole time. Don't want his fins freezing up too much, so, or at all. And yeah, he's in healthy condition. There he goes, perfect release. Had some battle scars on him from who, who knows what, but that was our second flag of the day and our first fish. I wanna say thank you to Rhett, also known as uh, Rev Angling. Uh, he left his ladle in my car, so I appreciate it because I forgot my ladle today. So thank you for leaving me your ladle, Rhett. Alrighty, another flag. 
Got him. Hooked up. Definitely not big. Don't think so anyways. There's a good run. <laughs> yeah, that's a good run, eh? It might be bigger than I thought, I don't know. I'm not gonna say at this point. There's a little bit of weight now. A little bit of weight. Moving them a little bit. Got this new rod. It's a Rapala R-Type Heavy. So that's letting me move this fish a little more than my older rods. I was using just medium heavy 30 inch befores and uh, it was a little hard moving, a, moving bigger pike. So I was just caught on the ice there. I don't know if you guys could see that, but it just popped off the ice. Yeah, there's some weight. Popping off the ice everywhere, hey? Here's my bobber stop. So I know I'm getting a little bit closer, so I want to just go a little bit easier on this fish. Give him line if he needs it. Ah, or he'll just or he'll just take it. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. I think it's a good fish, Daryl. Oh yeah. He went for like three huge runs. Sweet. I think I think I'll get him this time. Not gonna ice. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. He's getting close. He's definitely wrapped up. I'm seeing that. Uh, seeing it come off. Yeah, he's gonna be a tank. He wasn't fighting at the start at all, like uh, like a big one at all. He was just thrashing, throwing head shakes like crazy. I'm gonna go open that live well back up. Thank you. Yeah, for four feet of water, this is a long fight. I think he's gonna be a decent one. Getting close. huge he's huge oh my goodness just want to go easy on him right so not horse him or anything guys letting him do his thing let the work let the rod work its magic keep that rod loaded hooks pinned Come on. It's right here at the hole, I think. Don't want to get those hooks caught on the ice either, guys, so. Another run. Wow, no words right now. He's close because my bobber stops in here. Yeah, will do. I just want to get him started up the hole. I think he's coming, I think he's coming. He's, he's on the bottom of the hole, hey? Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to get those hooks stuck. Let him, let him run again and then just gotta reposition his head. You're in the center of the hole. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Okay. He's a big fish. Yeah. He's a huge fish. It's a big fish. Yeah. yeah, it's a tank. Like, it, this could be it. Don't 
only thing is if he's tangled. It should be though. Does he feel it? Like you can feel his head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There he is. There tail. Tail. Tail crab? Try. Well, that's. I'm losing him. Sorry, no worries, no worries. He's covered in mud. <laughs> That was a weird way to come up. He's wrapped. Yeah, he is wrapped. <laughs> yeah, just to push him down a bit. That's right. Get this ready. Is the worst thing you can do is touch a fish with something or it'll just freak out. This is so thick here right now. Did he move? Yeah. Okay, try to get him back. Here, he's moving, he's moving. Away from the hole a little bit. Let's. Oh, he, he's a freaking big fish, that's for sure. <laughs> a lot of weight. Guy out here last year called when I think it was 32. Oh, yeah. That, oh, there. Oh, it's tail. Oh, it's so slippery. Oh, almost. Oh, there he goes again. Oh, no. Why is he coming up tail first? Because it's dropped. Probably maybe on the. Here he comes, here he comes again. Here he comes again. <laughs> There's his tail. I can maybe uh, I can try to eat the plum. I got no grip at all. Uh, got his gill. I got him too. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's a Alrighty guys, so the fish is chilling in the live well after that super long fight. Kind of what happened is flag went up, chased over to the flag and uh, picked up the rod. He took like two or three huge runs and uh, he kept getting stuck in the bottom of the hole. Uh, the line was wrapped around his one fin and he kept coming up with his tail first, which was very hard to grab. As you can tell, after that long fight, he's still super, super full of energy just because we are keeping him in the live well. Um, <laughs> trying to flip out but yeah that's pretty much what happened he just kept getting stuck and it was about a 20 minute fight trying to get him up that hole so when we finally got him it's obviously a great reward pretty we're just gonna take a look at this fish gonna just get my bump board in oh yeah that's look at that fish that is awesome awesome fish wow it's going 40 42, yeah. Always support the belly on these big girls. Look at that. Alrighty guys, it is time to get this big girl back. Last look at her. She was not out of the water for more than 30 seconds at a time. And very healthy, very healthy fish. Very fat, big head. One little cyst on the top, other than that, not too many battle scars. So. Fins are still clear, looking really good. Yeah. There she goes, kicking you. Yeah, there she goes. Perfect, kicks off. Got that tail in the water and she was off like a bullet. So that's our second fish of the day. First one at 39 and a half and the second one at very fat, healthy bike. So I guess let's get the tip ups set back up and uh, on to the next fish.
Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I want to say thank you to Daryl. I'm going to leave his Instagram in the comment section below. He was a ton of help today. Um, the drone shots, the slow motion shots, uh, the, the filming, everything he helped me out with. So I want to say thank you to Daryl. Again, I'll leave his Instagram in the, in the description below. He was just so much help. He's so knowledgeable and he helps me out with just a bunch of stuff. So go give him a follow and uh, just check out his page. But other than that, we had a great day out on the water. We probably ended up catching like 15 pike. Um, I decided to only film the morning because I had some friends coming out in the afternoon. Um, so I think there's like four or five fish on in the video, but it was, it was an awesome day. And this is, like I said in the intro, just the start. Yeah, there's like so many days to come. So I'm probably gonna be trying to get out on the ice a couple more times to chase these pike. Just a, just a couple more times this ice fishing season because it is coming up pretty quick to the end. Like we got some warm weather this week, like in the in plus 10 Celsius. So that's gonna that's gonna melt the ice pretty dang quick. But it's also gonna be turning on the pike like crazy. So I'm hoping I can get a couple more videos out for you guys. I'm not gonna make any promises because you guys know me. Um, <laughs> we'll see. I'll see what I can do. So. I'm going to leave you guys off here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it, uh, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, just put a comment down below. Tell me what I can work on. I'm always open to constructive criticism. And if you really like my page overall and you want to help me out, uh, hit the subscribe button. I, I always really appreciate all of you guys. I can't say thank you enough. We're closing in on that 2,000 subscriber mark. So let's try to hit that as soon as possible. And I think that's all to say, so I guess I'll see you guys on the next one. Hope you guys are all doing well, and uh, have a good night, good morning, whenever you guys are watching this. Just hope you guys have a good day.